Well, what kind of market would Pike Place be if they didn't have the best fruits and vegetables around? Well, to find out what was in season and what is the best quality produce, we talked to the man himself, Frank Ginzali from Frank's Quality Produce. Well, there's quite a bit of stuff coming out now. You're starting to see some local items start popping up. We've been getting some local rhubarb in. Um, you'll start seeing some local bunch of spinach. Um, spring onions will be right around the corner. Asparagus is going to be the thing that really kicks things going. You know, this weekend, if we don't get any freeze in eastern Washington, we should have local asparagus for this weekend, which would be great. We missed it, missed Easter by one week. We usually try and hit that goal of having local by Easter, but Easter was so early this year, so we missed it by a week. But it's uh, right around the corner, so we're almost ready. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. You know, the talk of the town right now about Frank's quality produce is your artichokes. Oh, we got beautiful artichokes. Come on down, I'll show you a couple. So we have baby artichokes also, so you can use those. Those are great just to slice in half, roast on the grill with some olive oil. Um, and then we just have those big, crunchy, you know, beautiful uh, globe artichokes that are out of California. It's a great season for those right now. So anybody that knows how to cook artichokes, that's the way to go. That's like a meal in itself, that artichoke. So <laughs> yeah, my son loves them. He, he'll eat two of them for sure. I would eat two of them. I would eat up all of them. Um, what else do you have there? Well, there's um, lots of great items coming in now. We're starting to see some beautiful English peas, um, you know, the shelling peas. So those are real tender and sweet. Um, we're starting to get some beautiful fava beans in. Um, so those are really good. We always talk about those when they come in, and they're just really a, a popular item. Um, a lot of baby uh, vegetables, like baby bunch carrots, all the different colors. you got purple and and red and yellow. We've got beautiful uh, baby bunch turnips with beautiful tops you can cook up. Um, we've got this really, really nice spring garlic. So this is just basically young garlic before it bulbs out and they dry it. You can use the tops, you can use the, the stems here. It's just got a real mild flavor. So something you can just slice up and toss in if you just want a, a real mild garlic flavor. Um, we've got these beautiful sprouting broccoli. Um, these are really nice. These are out of California, or actually these are out of Oregon now. So this is something that is only around in the spring for a few weeks, so maybe three, four weeks at the most. So if you see these, grab them right now. You'll see some spring robs out there, which is basically the tops of like kale or chard. You'll see like uh, collard green rob, things like that. So uh, keep an eye out for those. If you've never tried them, it's something to do because you only get them a couple, couple weeks out of the year. So that's what you want to use. We've got like um, other things to use, like these beautiful dandelion greens. I mean, these are just gorgeous to saute, like you would kale or chard or anything like that. So real sweet flavor, something really nice to try. And again, like the asparagus I was telling, I mean, asparagus is just, that's going to be the thing that just everybody uses. It kind of like brings out the barbecue, grilled uh, large asparagus on the barbecue, things like that are just, you know, it's that time of year. So vegetables are, are the way to go. I love, I love the idea of only having something available for like two weeks out of the year and then coming to snatch it up because it's so rare. Also, I had no idea you could use the greens of a garlic to cook with. Yeah, they're, they're great. I mean, you just slice them thin. If you leave them too long, they just kind of, they're hard to chew. But if you just slice it really thin and just toss them in, you can even toss them raw in a salad if they're cut really, really thin. They're, and they're, you know, they're not real, uh, they don't have a real strong flavor. It's very mild, so it's, it's not going to overpower anything. Perfect for a salad. Perfect for a salad. Perfect. Yeah, um, that's great. What about fruit? I know we're not quite there yet, but what do we got to look forward to? Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we have a lot to look forward to right now. It's just right, we're kind of in that transition period between like California citrus, um, some of the stone fruit that's come from Chile is still around. Um, beautiful grapes are still available. Berries have actually been really good out of California, especially the strawberries. Strawberries have been beautiful. And we've got rhubarb too, so uh, the local rhubarb is really good with that. Um, but, you know, we're right around the corner from starting to see things like peaches, starting to see things like cherries. Uh, some of those beautiful vegetables or fruits out of uh, out of California that come in, and when you start seeing those, you just that's when Washington really starts kicking in. So we have a little while before we see that from Washington, but um, you'll start seeing some some really good melon, like uh, the, the musk cantaloupe melon, uh, mm. some of those temptation melons, some of those different varieties of melons that are out there. You'll see. So we're still a, a little ways away, a few weeks to a month away from seeing some of that stuff, but. 
you know, uh, there's still you still want to use some of the citrus, blood oranges, car car oranges, the mini mini Angelos. Uh, that that citrus is just really nice right now, Phil. Frank, if you were going to cook us dinner tonight, what would you grab from the produce stand to take home? Uh, what would I grab? Um, well, I would probably uh, start with some of the uh, English peas or fava beans, uh, just as a side vegetable with a little bit of like uh, sauteed pancetta and uh, fava bean, which would be really, really nice. Um, then I would probably make a really nice salad. Uh, we talked about it last time, the radicchios, trevisos, per se. Um, we've got this beautiful red butter lettuce uh, that's really tender and nice, so I'd have a nice salad. Um, and for me, I'd probably... I'd probably cook up a nice ribeye to go with that. <laughs> that's what I, I mean. That's just, there's so many things. I mean, the artichokes, like I said, the artichokes are just a great item to have if you know how to do them, just to put out on the table before you eat dinner to kind of munch on. Um, those are just great things to have around that, you know, a lot of people, they don't cook them at home. So um, to, to try them and, uh, and, and then enjoy them would, would be perfect.